I just want to say, guys, first of all, this is the jolly old Santa Claus, and Leaf fans seem to chill out. Look, we're only in, like, game five or game six, guys. We won two games in a row, okay? We lost against Edmonton. Big carry deal. It's only the first game against Edmonton. We just need to take deep breaths. I was disappointed. I wasn't mad. I was very disappointed. I wasn't mad. I wasn't annoyed. I was disappointed. I got bad news. I know someone got hurt on Toronto. Joe Thornton. Joe Thornton got hurt, and there's a reason why he got hurt. And I guarantee that when he when when he returns from, I don't. I hope. I hope this doesn't put him out of retirement because he has a wrist injury, and wrist injuries at his age can be very effective in a bad way. This could affect his shot. This could affect a lot of things, possibly for Joe Thornton this year. It could put him in retirement when that is healed. He's going to be out for quite some time. And this is bad. And why, why the heck? When Joe Thornton got hurt, Like, why didn't Wayne Simmons drop the gloves? Like, I didn't. I don't care if it was an accident. Wayne Simmons is supposed to be here to drop the gloves, play physical. Wayne Simmons has fought once so far. He hasn't even hit. He ha He's not playing very physical. And the deep and guys, Justin Hall. has been the most physical defenseman out of this whole Leafs team so far this year. Muzzin had a good hit at the Winnipeg game. So did Hyman. Hyman's not really there to be hitting. Muzzin laid a good hit. Got the team going, let me tell you, because after he laid that hit, they were even more pumped when they were playing. They went crazy. And that's what the Leafs need. That's why we have Jake Musson here. That's why we have Morgan Riley here. This is what, that's why we have TJ Brody here. This is why we have Zach Bogosian here. This is why we have Joe Thornton and Wayne Simmons here. To hit. To play physical. And Wayne Simmons is not playing very physical. Now Zach Bogosian. Still not very. I, I, we're, I've so far my opinion about Zach Bogosian. Don't know. I, I'm still not really too pleased with Zach Bogosian. The best game they played against Winnipeg still wasn't happy with Zach Bogosian. He's not what he was supposed to be when he came to Toronto. He was supposed to be here for a physical, mean presence. And he hasn't played the body. He hasn't hit anybody. He hasn't laid hard hits. He has to be hitting. Like Zach, B Zach Bogosian came here to lay really hard hits on, on players that try to get into their into the Toronto Maple Leafs zone where Anderson is. He's supposed to be laying big hits. So is Muzzin. And I know Muzzin and, and Bogosian, that sounds like a bad idea, but I don't know. Like, is Bogosian really someone we need? Like, I'm starting. Like, I'm starting to really think Bogosian might be someone we need to trade. And I'm starting to think, okay, this might work. What if Zach Bogosian was traded for Josh Manson? Okay, people are probably like, Josh Manson, yeah, he's good. Go look up highlights of Josh Manson. This guy would be so perfect for this team. First of all, 
I get emotional just talking about it because Josh Manson is so good. He's physical, really physical, more physical than Zach Bogosian. And that's the truth. This guy's good, really good. And I would love him on the Toronto Maple Leafs. If he came, if he, if he came to Toronto, boy oh boy would he, would he help the right side. Bogosian, I don't know what to think of him. I'm 50-50 on Zach Bogosian. Like, right now, I don't, I don't know what to think of uh, Zach Bogosian. To, I find he's too slow. Like, he seems really slow, and I don't think that's good for Toronto. They need faster defensemen. This team is not built for slow defense. It isn't. And Zach Bogosian, to me, might be affecting their defense. And maybe that's why Dermot is having a hard time. Like Zach Bogosian, to me, is just, oh, I'm gonna steal the puck from you. Oh, I'm gonna have a nice pass. Now Muzzin, is not as slow. Muzzin's a lot faster. Muzzin's way faster than Bogosian. I've seen him play fast. He's way faster. And Zach Bogosian isn't fast. Josh Manson, a lot of people have been saying that Josh Manson would be a perfect fit for the Toronto Maple Leafs. I agree. If he was lined up with Muzzin, I'd be super happy. Him and Muzzin lined up, that would be perfect. M Manson and Muzzin would be a perfect line. You imagine them two defensemen on, on the first defensive line. That would be perfect in my opinion. And after this video, I'm going on a stream and I'm talking to someone that's a Leaf fan. And I'm going to ask them, would Josh Manson be a better fit than Zach Bogosian. Look guys, the Toronto Maple Leafs, when they play really good, when they when they play with when they play with speed, first of all, even when they don't hit and they still play with speed, they're freaking dangerous, man. The Winnipeg the Winnipeg game, they were playing with speed. We could have used a little more speed that game. But guys, Tampa Bay in the playoffs. The two things they did, speed and grit. What had the least not ha what did the least not do today? Speed and grit. What did the least not do enough? The Winnipeg game, grit. They were playing with speed, but not enough grit. But they were playing the bodies a few times that game. Now, this game tonight was not good. And the one thing I was a little concerned, and, and it does concern me quite a bit, because you brought Joe Thornton here for, for a, a guy that's supposed to help out this team. Like he's supposed to, like if the Leafs are getting frustrated, he's supposed to help them out and be like, guys, it's all right. Take break. We, you guys are doing great. He's supposed to be there to calm them down from not getting frustrated. Like. This is the problem. You bring in a guy that's 41, right? And here's what I don't like. And this could have been a, this could have been a big mistake. This might have been a bad idea to bring in Joe Thornton because, first of all, he's not going to be back for some time now. So he's going to be missing a few games, and that's not good to me. That's not good. And I'm a little worried, like. I want them to win Friday, but the loss, the injury of Joe Thornton, I have many concerns for this, 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 
I'm telling you, if they do, if they play way worse than they did tonight because Joe Thornton was hurt, I hope Sheldon Keith comes out and tells them, you know what, guys, wake the hell up. You guys are supposed to be a Stanley Cup team, and you guys are playing like a bunch of kids. Just because Jumbo Joe's gone, he can't help you from not getting frustrated. He's there for that reason. He's hurt. So what is Friday's game going to turn out like? You know what I mean? And the worst part is, the player, the player barely ran into him. Like, it was like a little, it was like a kid running into Joe Thornton. Like, it was a tiny little bump. And he broke his, he broke his wrist. Like, how does that, bro how, do, how does he get injured from that? That's what I don't like. How does he get injured from that? Like, that's not good. And it, and it annoys me just thinking that Joe Thornton got hurt. Because Wayne Simmons is going to have to play a big role now. First of all, the whole team. Calgary plays like... Like the Stanley Cup is to, is every game. Like Calgary has been playing like they've been winning the Stanley Cup every single game. Why can't the Leafs do that? You know what I mean? Like that's what I'm not understanding. They got Wayne Simmons, Joe Thornton, Zach Bogosian. And I don't know if Zach Bogosian is the right defenseman for this team. I don't think he is actually. And Josh Manson would be perfect. Bogosian to me is not the guy. Like, when the trade deadline's here, I think they should trade Bogosian and trade him for Josh Manson. Justin Hall, I don't think they should trade Justin Hall. They should keep him instead because, first of all, he hasn't won a Stanley Cup and he's playing like a Stanley Cup defenseman. That's crazy. Justin Hall is so good and, uh, Like, I really don't have a favorite defenseman. Like, they're all really good. But Zach Bogosian, he's mean looking. Like, he, he's very intimidating looking. But he's not, he's not physical. He's not. He's like a little kid skating on ice. He's not physical. And he's too slow. Way too slow. They should trade him for Josh Manson. Trade deadline. Go after Josh Manson. Because that is someone to me that would really help this team a lot more than Magosian. You line him up with Dermot. Josh Manson would be a huge upgrade over Magosian. And first of all, they could afford Josh Manson. If they traded Magosian and something else cheap, that could work. I don't know what they could trade, but anyways, guys, I'll see you guys in the end of the video. We'll see what happens Friday. It's only, it's only a loss. We won two games. This is only the first game against Edmonton, but I was a little concerned about that, that injury. Anyways, guys, see you guys next time.